Hello everyone, welcome to the next section of the course, Auto Scaling. In this section, we will cover vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. We will use an instance created in the previous section and deploy a sample application. Further, we will create an Amazon Machine Image, AMI, so it can be used while creating an auto scaling group. Lastly, we will create an auto scaling group. However, we need to launch the configuration created before the auto scaling group is created. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with an overview and setup. In this video, we will cover the basic introduction of auto scaling along with its benefits and type. After that, we will set up an auto scaling in load balanced application. Let's take a scenario. Manual configuration of increasing and decreasing resources based on load application is not only facing difficulties but also hardly serves the purpose effectively. It is better to scale in and scale out automatically, so whenever peak load is counted on the application, then additional resources are allocated automatically, and whenever the load is normal, additional resources can be deallocated. There are some visible benefits of auto-scaling. Effective cost management, high availability, fault tolerance, better application architecture that supports auto-scaling and hence more robust. No upfront capex, better agility and faster time to market, pay as you go. In short, auto-scaling feature in AWS provides us flexibility to manage application traffic in a cost-effective manner. We can achieve this by configuring the minimum number of instances in each auto-scaling group. We can also configure the maximum number of instances in each auto-scaling group. This configuration ensures that the number of instances serving the application traffic doesn't go beyond the maximum number of instances. Before configuring auto-scaling in AWS, let's understand scaling types that are popular in daily usage. There are two types of scaling, horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling is scale in and scale out. It is all about adding new resources to manage the application load. Consider a scenario where an e-commerce site has announced a sale in a festival season. The web application gets many requests in such a scenario for a specific duration. In this case, Add multiple instances or resources, each with a similar configuration, so as a unit, they all try to serve requests in a better way. However, in such a scenario, the application architecture needs to support stateless, where multiple instances are added and instances are removed when the load is normal. Vertical scaling is scale up and scale down. It is all about increasing and decreasing the capacity of a single resource or an instance. For example, increasing RAM or hard disk based on the requirement is something we often find very common in the traditional environment. Scale down is rarely an exercise that is followed nowadays in organizations. Let's see the process to create an auto scaling group in AWS step by step. The objective of this architecture is to create instance using the auto scaling group, where an instance is automatically created if one of the instance in the group is terminated. There are three major components of auto scaling in AWS Amazon Machine Imaging, AMI, Launch Configuration, and Auto Scaling Group. Now let's cover each of these components in brief. Amazon Machine Image, AMI, is a template where we have already installed all packages and deployed the application package in a web server. Another component is Launch Configuration. It is a template that provides details on which type of instance need to be launched in the auto scaling group. You can select the type of instance or select custom AMI or select AMI from Marketplace. Note that 100 launch configurations per region is allowed. That's all about the auto-scaling, its types and its benefits. 